1840, when Abraham Lincoln was a state legislator here in Springfield, internal improvements was a hot political topic. The canals, roadways, railroads were beginning to be a development. And the lack of good infrastructure led to people not being able to get their goods to market. Well, today's infrastructure is broadband, high-speed internet connectivity. And having the best internet infrastructure is what Broadband Illinois is all about. Broadband Illinois has had a great year in 2012. We've built on our foundation of mapping and planning. Um, this is the sixth round of data we've provided them. Um, it contains 139 providers in the state of Illinois that have given us data on a voluntary basis. The data that we collect is essentially um, a compilation of a number of variables, specifically provider name, their database name, their doing business as name, kind of technology they use, whether it's uh, cable, uh, whether it's uh, fiber, whether it's wireless and so forth. Um, what kind of speeds, upload, download speeds they offer. Uh, and essentially, that's pretty much it. Highly strengthened the work of our e-teams throughout the state. If someone has some ideas or they're looking for organizations to collaborate with, but they're not sure who's available, who might be out there, what other resources are out there, the E-teams are the perfect avenue to be able to do that outreach. We have a database that has a lot of contacts, a lot of information. We're already working in the regions. The E-teams are already you know, part of the convening of stakeholders that happen within these regions, whether it's you know, local, county, or or whether it's a larger part of the, the region. Facilitated big broadband infrastructures like the Gigabit Community Challenge. You have to have everybody in and nobody left out. That's what this is all about, to make sure that we have gigabit speed uh, for everyone. Uh, it's so important for education, for health care, for law enforcement, for economic development, for many, many other applications and opportunities. And launch two new adoption and use programs that will help get broadband into the hands of the people that need it the most. The Illinois Broadband Innovation Fund was a grant that was given to us, PCI, by the Small Business Administration in collaboration with the Illinois DCEO to increase computer and adoption usage across Illinois. Of these funds, PCI was investing up to $500,000. And as of the deadline on September 18th, we had received 113 proposals statewide. PCI has selected 14 programs throughout all of Illinois for funding. We're excited about the next generation applications for broadband, but we want to make sure that we're not leaving behind those individuals that are digitally disenfranchised. Individuals who may not appreciate what broadband can do for them, or they may be too low income to afford the costs. Well, at the end of the year, Broadband Illinois received $1.5 million that will provide connectivity to individuals in western and southern Illinois, low income individuals that will help them to get computers to get connected, to get the train that they need to take advantage of what broadband internet has to offer. We're particularly enthusiastic to make sure that broadband subscribers are up in the state of Illinois, but also that those subscribers know how to use and take advantage of all that broadband has to offer.